Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. We are gonna be moving into my January setup. Uh, this is my December setup. It seems like this month flew by. <laughs> um, I did make this cover. I used these little mint green discs from the Happy Planner, one of the, um, I think it was the Wildflower Be Happy box is where they came from. But um, I am actually ready to move into my, uh, another planner setup with new covers, new disc. And if you wanna see that, stick around. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go from this to um, this black deluxe snapping cover I just picked up from the Happy Planner during one of the recent um, Black Friday sales. And um, I think I'm going with the gold disc. Um, I haven't used gold disc in a while, and I think the black and the gold's really pretty for, say, the new year in January. And then also, um, this is how I store my discs. So I pulled this so I could put these rings back on here when I pull them off. And so let me go ahead and get this planner. Let's get it going. I'm actually just gonna open this up. So I Franken plan if you are new to my channel. And what that means is I actually have, a, I have you put multiple planners into one planner system. And so um, what you'll see is we'll be moving in and out of some different planners. Um, one of the things we're gonna have to be doing is I'm gonna be moving old months into the, anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to it. So let's go ahead and put these on this, uh, these covers. I need nine of the discs, so we'll go ahead and pull through then pull these off. And then I can take these and put them away. And then let's see. I've never used a deluxe planner cover like this one, so I don't know how hard these are to snap on. I might have to do one at a time. Like that. Let's just do they're actually not that hard. Might should have done them both at the same time, but that's okay, we'll see. Like I said, I've never used one of these, so it's kind of a learning process. That's not too bad, okay. All right, okay, so these won't be as floppy once we get pages in. Um, but this has some inside pockets, which is kind of nice. Um, this is where your planner, well, it doesn't, no, it doesn't go there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a pocket. Hold on. Okay, let's go ahead and get start getting, moving this over. All right, so I'm going to be putting my 2023 planner in here. So I'm going to move out my 2022 um, section here that has my name page perpetual calendars and in my I had the modern meow planner for this last year and so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here where it goes I guess I can take that out by now <laughs> and then we can go ahead and um, I'm gonna set this back off to the side I'm gonna be using a different bookmark so I'm gonna move that off and then November I'm done with. Now, I haven't filled in my currently page for December, but I'll go back in and fill that out. But I can go ahead and put November in my uh, main planner here. And this is just kind of like an archive. It just keeps it all together. Um, and then once I'm done with uh, moving next month, I will um, have the planner complete because what I do, um, I keep the current, previous, and next month in my Franken planner. So that's why I'm moving November over and then December will become my previous month so I'm gonna keep it for now because sometimes I need to look back on it and so we're gonna go ahead and move this whole section of December into the new planner well you guys are seeing what I'm doing here I need to open the planner <laughs> oh goodness you guys I can tell this what kind of video this is gonna be but that's okay I've only done this a couple of times on my channel, so I've never 
I'm not used to planning this process or excuse me, filming this process. Um, so just bear with me. Um, this section here, you guys get a sneak peek. I have finished my sticker uh, challenge for this month and it was so fun. I loved it so much. So uh, plans in the making. Uh, she's her name's Julie. She's on Instagram. I'm pretty sure she has a YouTube channel too. But um, de this I found her on Instagram, and she hosts a challenge for the month of December. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like hashtag st sticker search hunt or sticker hunt 2022. I don't remember that part, but you can go to my Instagram and check it out. I'm gonna post a picture of this spread here as soon as the new year is over. Excuse me, the, this year is over. I'm going to try to post it on the 31st. Um, so I did kind of go ahead a little bit to find my stickers because it was so fun every few days kind of just doing a little hunt in my sticker stash to find different stickers. So anyway, it was really cute. If you haven't done this before, go give Julie a follow. It's Plans in the Making, and she hosts this challenge every once in a while. And so I'm, But I'm going to go ahead and um, pull these out over into my new planner because I want to take a picture of this um, here in a few days. And then once I do that, I may take this back out and put it in my 2022 planner because that's where I'll keep it. Um, I make a separate section for December um, for uh, Christmas um, things. And so that's what this is. Um, so anyway, and then, okay. So to keep moving, we're gonna wanna pull in our January um, name page, perpetual calendar. And I still haven't really set this all up. I'll go through and write in like a lot of birthdays and things like that on these pages. Um, that's what I use it for, but I definitely want to keep it in my planner. And then we'll move the January section over. So the current month that we're going to be in after this week is going to be January. And so that's going to be that month and then I need to pull from my new planner that I'm using for 2023 I need to go ahead and pull February um, because remember I said I keep the previous current and next month so this will be next month and so we'll go ahead and pull that okay so I'm gonna keep my Mickey divider here this just separates my sections. I have my catch-all section and I also keep a social media section in my uh, Franken planner. All right, so then previous month for my social media is gonna be November. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. Again, I haven't filled out my currently page for it. I use this for stats and stuff and I'll go in and fill that in later once the month is completely over. So I used the Miss Maker planner last year for um, my social media, but I franken planned in dashboard pages from another planner. So, oh, you guys, I never went back and filled in November. <laughs> I guess I'll do them both at the same time once this month is over. All right, so now I've got to get these in here. And then from my new social media planner, I chose the Zay Y. Oh, actually, I'm not ready for that yet, am I? I need to move over my December section. And then I need to move January. So January will be my current month. And so now from my Zay Wild Planner, I'll pull February. And I, for, from, uh, for the rest of it, it's mainly just some filler paper. I go ahead and I'll pull over a bookmark and it's just to divide those sections. I'm looking at getting some of the, um, live love posh tab dividers um, i just haven't ordered them yet but um and they're also on amazon so i need to look and see what would be the best option as far as uh, price wise and things like that um and so but what i want to do is some tab top uh, top tabbed dividers um to separate my sections and i'm also thinking about putting in another section for wellness um I haven't really decided yet. I did pick up a planner, but I'm not 100% committed to it yet as far as like uh, decorating it and doing things like that with it. But I do think I want to incorporate that into my planner. And so I would need another section for that. But for now, 
I just use um, this section for just some different random filler paper. So that if I need something, I don't have to go um, digging in my stash for something. I can just go to the back of my planner and pull out a page that will work for what I need it for. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. All right, actually, I'm just gonna pull all these off. So I have some daily sheets back here, my little grocery shopping list, just different things. Um, so let's go ahead and put these back on. And I just have this plain dot grid paper too. I love it. It came out of the, um, oh gosh, it doesn't, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a, a guided journal, um, but it had a lot of blank, um, of the blank pages of this grid paper. And I, so I picked it up on clearance because um, you can always use blank grid paper. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put the rest of these in. And then, um, so that's done, I'm, I'm finished. I didn't pull in my bookmark that I wanted to use to mark the front section of my catch-all, which will be here. And then once, um, let me get this in here. Once December is over, or excuse me, January is over, um, the first thing that you'll see when you open my planner will be the name page, um, just like you have all year with my other planner. But once, so that this sections have to go for that to be the case, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Um, and I really love the black and the gold. It's really um, very nice. Um, and it's just very elegant looking. I like that a lot. Um, so I'll probably, you know, maybe find, um, some things to put in the thing, in the, in the pocket. I've never really had a pocket, so I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but that's okay. Um, and just real quick, like I was mentioning before, um, the way I store these discs are on these binder rings. You can get these at, um, Walmart, but most economically you can get them from Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. I bought like a little kit with, um, the big ones and some little ones. And so, um, I found that this size here, I can't remember what the inches are, maybe three, I'm not sure, um, work the best for storing your disc. And I keep these on my planner cart. I have the little um, accessory that um, hangs on the side that's meant for like washi and stuff, um, but I don't use it for that. I just take these and hang them on the side of that. They're like little bars. I'll, I'll link it down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but, and then these are just, um, I hang them across there and I have all my disc lined up and I can just pick out what colors. Um, this would also be good to use it to put in a jar too, because, um, it would still give you that look of the disc all in a jar, um, but they're not all mixed together. So then when you want to find a disc that you want to use, you don't have to search the whole jar to get all the color that you want. You just pull out the one you want. And so that's actually how I store my mini disc on the, on the rings. And then on my classic size and my expander disc, I have them lined up. And so it's just, it's what works for me for right now. And so um, I really liked um, the way that these rings allowed me to store them. And so anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me moving into my January planner. And if you do hit that like button down below, we'll see you next time. Bye.